freedom of expression Paul Amodison Becker remembered with Google Doodle, why is the German painter being celebrated on her 142nd birthday? The expressionist artist helped to bring modernism to the world in the early 20th century. Trailblazing painter Paula Modersohn Becker was one of the artists who brought modernism to the world in the early 20th century. Google is commemorating the German artist on what would have been her 142nd birthday. Here's what you need to know about her life and tragic th. Who was Paula Modersohn Becker? Paula Becker was born on February 8, 1876 and grew up in Dresden before her large family moved to Bremen. She began learning to draw at the St. John's Wood Art School in London, where she was visiting an aunt. While still a teenager, she combined teacher training with private tuition in painting, and at the age of 22 moved into an artist's colony in Werpswood, a creative district of Bremen. It was there that she met her husband, Otto Modersohn, who she married in 1901. However, as her artistic career blossomed, Paula spent extended periods in Paris, living separately from her partner. She was one of the foremost early expressionist artists who sought to express the meaning rather than the physical reality of the subject. Along with the likes of Picasso and Matisse, her bold paintings helped to introduce the world to modernism, a movement which did away with the traditional methods of the past. Modersohn Becker was one of the first women artists to depict nude female models, and took the unprecedented step of painting nude self-portraits. She reached the creative peak of her short career in 1906, in that year alone she produced more than 80 paintings. In 1906, Modersohn Becker moved back to her husband in Werpswood and the couple had Matt Hilda, their first child together, on November 2. But the new parents' joy was to be short-lived as tragedy struck just 19 days later. Modison Becker had complained of leg pains following the birth, and was advised by doctors to remain in bed. On November 21, she was told to walk and, after taking just a few steps, died suddenly at the age of 31. It emerged that she had suffered an embolism which had worsened to the point of fatality from staying in bed. What is a Google Doodle? In 1998, the search engine founders Larry and Sergey drew a stick figure behind the second O of Google as a message to that they were out of office at the Burning Man Festival and with that, Google Doodles were born. The company decided that they should decorate the logo to mark cultural moments and it soon became clear that users really enjoyed the change to the Google homepage. In that same year, a turkey was added to Thanksgiving and two pumpkins appeared as the O's for Halloween the following year. Now, there is a full team of doodlers, illustrators, graphic designers, animators and classically trained artists who help create what you see on those days. Among the doodles published in recent months were ones commemorating German scientist Robert Koch, Jan and Jen Haas, who discovered photosynthesis and the 50th anniversary of kids coding languages being introduced. Earlier in the year, the search giants celebrated the 2017 autumn equinox, which marked the official ending of summer and the coming of autumn, of autumn.